Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Thursday, and I'm wearing an uh, we like an ode or homage to our softball when the we were God the Godfathers. Godfathers. And I was wearing it because <clears throat> I really don't mind getting old. I, I really don't. I don't. I don't wish I was 25 again. I don't wish I was 27. 28, 30, I don't wish that anymore. I really look forward to getting old. Getting? Well, already, I'm, I'm old. Like, my workout, I like, I, I don't know, man. I just, I, I'm not that guy going, gosh, man, I wish I was 40 again. I don't mind I getting old. I was 34. But... We can't go throw footballs and catch them off the jet ski. We can't do that stuff the way we used to. No. I, and we be don't. able to get out of bed tomorrow. Yeah. And, but we don't anymore. Like I get it, but that's the reason. I don't know. I think our... We, our we, we're not going to build no slip and slide. No. We're not going, to, you know, for us. Just for us. Yeah. You know, we would for, for kids and stuff, but... Those type things we did at a younger age, there's just no way we would do that but I anymore. Think, I think those times have changed. I don't even think we think about it. Like, now, the, the way I thought about softball is how I think about bowling. The way I thought about... Well, bowling is just taking over that. Yeah. But we bowl because softball went to hell. I agree. You know, I, it, I, you know there was only... You know, two or three competitive teams, it seemed like, and it just got boring. Yeah. So we have to compete at something. That, that is a deal. Like, in the, like to compete. You know, like, I got a chance now to play on these 50 and over national team. Mm -hmm. Me and Al. Man, we're going to travel, play 14 tournaments, travel, just like you did back when I was in my 20s. Ain't no way you'll do that. And I'm, I'm already, I'm already, I knowing that we've got some projects to shoot. I look forward to that. I don't even look forward to that anymore. Yeah. And I'm competitive. I, I You would go play a tournament or two. Yeah. I, but I, as far as traveling a third of the year, I roughly. Just, it's just not. Yeah. And I go to bed so not early I'm 25% now. of the year. Yeah. I go to bed so early now. True. So I like that. But as, as I was, I look at these people that, these actors that are doing like the facelift and they're trying this and this to stay young. And I'm like, oh. well, as an actor, a lot of times that, that they just may need to. Yeah. I just, I now that doesn't, that doesn't mean, but, but you're not superficial at all. Well, you, you, this you know, it's a good shirt. You're not going to put eye cream on. No. You're not going to, Oh man, my hair's getting no. thin. I'm going to get me some shampoo that helps. You're you're no. not that guy. No. Ever. You won't be. If your hair starts falling out, Shave you just it. cut it off. Yeah. You know, you're not that guy, so it's hard to compare you against the I I understand. I see where you're going. Yeah, you're right. That's a good point of being superficial. It's yeah, my crow's feet, I got crow's feet. I don't care. Yeah. I get it now what you said about Yeah. Well this I mean, I did dress this is a nice shirt. You know what? Monday, Monday. Let's let's throw up a picture from Laughlin. That was ten, twelve, at least, because it was two thousand. I think the date's back. on it. I think yeah. the date's on it. Six or seven, I think. Yeah. I, I'll look it up. Moving stuff. I, I found a disc from when we did the bike show uh, in Laughlin, uh, Nevada. Yeah. And had a bunch of pictures on it. And Russell had a short mohawk, blonde, <laughs> blonde goatee. I uh, have that. Mine wasn't blonde at that time, but, or platinum. Dude, it was 2004. Because that's when we talked about doing the Matthew McConaughey bike for the 2005 National Championship. No, it was 2005. <laughs> 2005. We're going to say... We should have put some money on that game if we knew they were going to You're win You're absolutely right. The championship had already happened, so it was five or six. All right, man. Thank God for XM Radio. That's all I got to say. We used to play this game going down the road. As soon as the song come on, uh, Billy Joe. I was right a lot. 
Rod Stewart. Come well, to find out I was wrong more than I was right now. Now we realize he just pulling the wool over our eyes. <laughs> he does that with dates too, I think. <laughs> I but right like there, it just proved it. Proved it. Because if not, I'd have had to go with it because uh, I don't remember dates. Uh, so I went, yeah, 2004. <clears throat> I went into those contests. Oh, now, now that I hear that, now that we have that radio, you go, remember when you, and I was like, God dang, that was wrong. I was wrong. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three, bam. All right. Somebody did ask me the other day. They were like, can we put our name on here? And I went, yeah, man. For a price. $100 a month. You can stick your name on here. It'll rotate through here. We can rotate it as many times. You know, my goal would be have, you know, 20 800, sponsors, 800,000 sponsors. Uh, you can put your name on there for $100 a month. But we did this back in the day, and we had we had Stephanie worked for us and tried mm-hmm. to sell. We had we <clears> tried <throat> to find a salesperson, and I said, screw that. No more. You want your name on here? $100 a month. Where's that $100 go? To fixing my camera and my gear that I end up breaking, I'll show you my camera if you would like to. Yes. Uh, you just gotta you gotta get new stuff all the time. Microphones. Uh, so upkeep. Upkeep. Going to upkeep. Upkeep. And we have any left over? We'll put it on the lottery. Yep. Totally will. Being honest with you. Totally will. Speaking of being honest. Okay. Be honest. This old preacher, old country preacher. Okay. <clears throat> Laying in his deathbed. Right. And they said, Sir, can is it Reverend, is there anything we can get you? He went, You know what? Could you get my lawyer right. and my doctor to come over here? Okay. So they get on the phone, call him, they rush in the house. One gets on one side, one gets on the other. They hold his hand, said, Reverend, we heard you wanted to see us and you know, we understand that you know, some of your last breaths you're taking. Yeah. We just want to be here for you, but why'd you why'd you ask us to be here? And he went, well, <clears throat> Jesus died next to two thieves. I thought I would too. <laughs> yeah, and any lawyers that wants to sue us, that, that, that somebody made that up. That was good. Yeah, that wasn't us. We did that. That was good. That was funny. I, I get a joke. Like I said, I get a joke all the time. That was actually really good. Yeah. So yesterday, I figured whack would like that. Whack would like that. Yesterday, down the backyard, we put up some trench. We didn't. We started to. Found some guys from K4 who, uh, for a, a nice little bar tab, finished the job. Mm-hmm. Move stuff around. Move the ice machine over. Are you ever satisfied? Well, through the winter, right? everything just kind of comes to a halt. Right. And yesterday felt like spring cleaning. I, I, I do agree with that. Because y'all y'all will see, when we ran those deals, we could put another one, and we could put that little sandbox in there now, yeah. you know, uh, for the kids, and do some other stuff. But there was just some old iron that was there that people would trip over and all that stuff, and we took time and got it all out. Well, Russell had to sneak off and Snuck off. get medicine or something. We thought he was coming back, but he didn't. <clears throat> But, uh, you knew, you knew. Mo- yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Payback from me going, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, anyway, yesterday, I was sitting there and you, I can't, it's hard to imagine how many people come up to us and go, man, hey, where's my deal to the wedding? You know, or something that revolves around this show of how many people we don't even know watch. Oh, yeah. How many people watch that don't comment? Millions. <clears throat> millions. It doesn't show it down at the bottom, no, but it's no. millions. Millions. <clears throat> but the K4 guys, just one of them come back. Oh. He knocked it on out. Bam, bam, bam. He come in, brought his girlfriend, got a drink. I said, Jamie, make sure, you know, they got a $50 tab on us. I said, it's a dollar a day for 50 days, though. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> <sighs> that was good. That was a good joke right there. But he got a burger and everything, so I think he's... he's All right. That's what I... Something Woodall. His last name's Woodall. I, anyway. K4 if, guy. If by chance you know a guy that works at K4 with the last name Woodall. Thank you, brother. Tell him thanks. Yesterday <laughs> we did our... We were back in the freeze. I had some text messages saying, man, what exactly does that feel like? How does it work? So, 
without any further ado, here's what it looks like and feels like. All right, we're back in the uh, cryo chamber. Chamber. And it's cold. Uh, is it cold? Yes, it's cold. Show them where the. Oh, it hasn't even got cold yet, but yeah. it's getting there. That goes to like negative 150, right? Yes, sir. Negative 150. So we are back, uh, like we said the other day on the show, we're excited to be back. Chris goes first. There's how it works. Three minutes. Count, counting up. You stay in there for three minutes, and man, is it. Getting a little nipply in here. <laughs> Might be a little shrinkage taking place. I don't know. And we laid off for a month, and I'm telling you, we got to get back on this thing. Got to get back. If you don't do this, just, oh. All right, back to the show. Peace. First day back was a little nipply. First day back was freezing. My elbow was super cold. And right here. And always, my kidneys always get super cold. Okay. I know it's mental. I already said it when I walked out of there. I know it's mental. What did you tell, did you feel any different today getting up? Yes, I did from the, from the prior two days. But we also know that you got to go a couple three of days. days. You want to go You got to be consistent days. Yeah. three days a week to get full effect. Correct. So we'll go back today. We'll go tomorrow and we should be back on track too. I will say help. this. I felt in my shoulders so much better this morning. And I usually can tell when I got to get up at about three o'clock to pee, when I wake up and I'm like, oh my gosh, my shoulder. I did not do that. Now, of course, that's like I said, I could have mentally made myself feel that mm -hmm. way, but I really did feel good. So I'm telling you guys, I think, I think I'm going to talk cryotherapy into being our first. Yeah. That first be hundred dollars. We talk about them enough. Since we, uh, we paid <clears> for it. Sits ought to be up there too. Yep, them sons of mother. We talk about them enough. Talk, but that's it. We ain't talking about either one of them. No more. Ever again. No more. They gotta have to. We're gonna have to pony yep. up on this show. This show's going Hollywood. So tomorrow's the best of. Tomorrow's the best of. We'll we be know what the special Monday. is today. Yep. You the, look. Today is a sausage sandwich with bell peppers and onions for eight dollars. It is a sausage sandwich. So with like bell a sausage Philly. Yeah. Okay. So it actually will be pretty good. And tomorrow, like I said, is the best of. I will be reporting Monday on the new John Wick. I am going to be there at I'll be there with you. Yep. Hoke will be there. 125 tomorrow. We are watching John Wick <clears throat> 2. There's only two movies I have that, besides Bad Boys, The Bournes, Identity, and now John Wick. Did you watch Wick, Little Wick last night? Come on, man. I watched a little, about four seconds. Come on, man. I watched about four, five, ten seconds just to get ready for the, for tomorrow. <laughs> Come on. I've watched the behind the scenes for so long. I've been watching behind the scenes for You feel like part of the morning. movie? I do. All right. Uh, like I said, what's going on this weekend? Who do we got at the backyard before we get out of here? Dirty River Boys Friday. They're, they're that, good. Man, they are really good. And then this so-so band on Saturday called Sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe. Yeah, they Slop, do play, Sloppy you know, Joe. stuff from the 70s all the way to today. And they hadn't played here in a while. They sure haven't. They ain't played since the Eagles, I think. So. I could be wrong. Probably are. Probably since 2004, right before right, that. But, before <laughs> the but they have added a whole bunch of songs to their yeah. song list. And we have inside scoop on that, but yeah. we're not going to tell you. But he Saturday. said he, he's played some wherever they played a couple last week. They good. He's even singing Brandon Jenkins, Stoney LaRue's Feet Don't Touch the Ground. I so Brian's singing some country. Brian is going country. <clears throat> Sloppy Joe Saturday, man. Get down there and see him. Friday Dirty River Boys. We'll see you guys on Monday. Hey, and don't forget, get down to piano. Well, it's going to be cold again. It's going to be inside, I think. It is chilly. Piano man. God dang it. But 80 Saturday. Oh, yeah, it's so, going to be nice. Come on out. Watch, like, share. We'll see you guys on Monday. Until Monday, I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are out of here.